guys, it's Taisha. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. You guys, I know, I know, I know I've been gone for a while. I didn't mean to be gone for this long. I will get into it in another video. I'll do like a chit chat with Get Ready With Me and I'll use all this product as well. But basically, girl, I am back with a huge Sephora haul. Of course, I had to go and pick up things that they didn't really need them. Some things I actually needed and other stuff I just wanted. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got and also some recommendations here and there that I actually think are worth your money and that I think you're gonna use a lot you know I got you okay so yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and get so I'm gonna begin telling you guys the dates just in case you don't know so basically everybody you know that you don't have to collect a lot of points insider starts already and you get 10% off and it all ends um, November 7th isn't it crazy that it's already November like where is time going by? And then 20% off roots and then 15% off if you are VIB. So those are the percentages. Hopefully one day we get like 40% off because I will really appreciate that. So I did end up ordering some things online and then I did go to the store and pick up the items. So I'm gonna start with the online stuff because I got my little gift for my birthday. So my birthday just passed, it was October 20th. Thank you so much to everybody who um, DM me, you know, it made me feel really special. Thank you so much, you guys. So I got a little gift from Sephora and you can pick up different things. I picked up the Nest one and and it's really cute it's like a little candle and then i guess you get like a perfume is this a perfume run i'm not too sure but it looks really pretty so i'm gonna open this up and show you guys highly recommend you guys go and get your birthday stuff girl sign up for everything that you can like google it and sign up for everything that you can so you can get free stuff for your birthday so <laughs> it's this little cute candle in the scent grapefruit okay it actually smells good you know i get headaches with this one actually legit smells like grapefruit so really cute candle and then the other one that i get is like a smaller perfume oil i really like perfume oils i feel like they last a long time on the skin this one doesn't smell like anything it's supposed to smell like oranges i think you have to roll it but i'm not even gonna try it right now because i already know me and it will like ruin my whole day um scents can do that to me again sign up for everything that you can donuts food everything okay so the next thing i order online is my dior backstage foundation this is one of my favorite 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 foundations to mix in with my nars soft matte foundation so these are two foundations that i highly recommend to splurge on if you want really pretty long lasting foundations this on its own doesn't give me any coverage at all but combined with the self matte, it just creates like the prettiest color and the prettiest finish. It's actually what I have on my skin right now. It's what I wear mostly all the time. Um, you know that foundation that you know the color is always going to look good. This is definitely one of them. So yeah, this is in the shade 4WO. It's an olive shade. It's matches my self tan like perfectly, which is why I always use it. And Dior packaging it just makes me feel fancy and if you order dior makeup from like their actual site it makes you feel like you just purchased like a, a purse or something you know here at sephora they don't do that but still dior makeup is just really pretty and it also performs really good another thing that i highly recommend let me find it are my brow pencils you guys i swear by my brow pencils i picked up a bunch of them i picked up two so this is the huda beauty bomb brows so this is my favorite eyebrow pencil in the shade black so it's eight soft black i always get questions about my eyebrows which honestly i'm surprised because my eyebrows take me like 40 minutes so i'm kind of happy people like compliment them because it takes me like 40 minutes on a bad day and on a good day it takes me like 20 minutes like my brows take me a long time but the Huda Beauty brow pencil is one of my favorite ones and it just creates like the perfect lines I mostly use that here on the like the front and then for the other part of my brow I use the refi brow pencil in the shade dark so I know girl I know it's expensive it's an expensive brow routine but I wasn't blessed with brows so you know I gotta do what I gotta do and the refi is perfect just to create 
it's not super waxy it's really pigmented so this is why i like it to create a brow you know so yeah these are my brow pencils expensive but worth it so another repurchase that i did i bought again my paula's choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant this product is really good if you have pores i have a lot of texture and pores pretty much like my whole face but basically like right here and this product works really really well i don't know how to describe it like let's say you're breaking out and your skin just is just not doing anything good for you i feel like when you start using this it just makes it like look more like flawless especially when you wear makeup so basically it unclogs and shrinks pores it is smooth and even skin tone and it's also a very lightweight product which i do agree with that um but i feel like this product actually truly does work and it's one thing that i do recommend in your skincare routine this is something i've been using since like 2020 and even back then when my pores were a lot bigger that helped a lot so basically this time around i didn't buy as much makeup i feel like when i'm like as i grow older i'm more interested in like skincare hair products and like perfume I don't know but i did buy some makeup don't get me wrong so i got this skin fix i'm not really really like big into buying expensive body care i feel like the drugstore that's already expensive enough you know some products are like 17 dollars um so i figured with the sale why not treat myself so i got the skin fix resurface glycolic renewing scrub and there's some really good glycolic products from the drugstore i need to do like a whole updated routine you guys because if you have like body acne me like me i have back acne and sometimes it be getting here on my chest as well i feel like glycolic helps a lot even if you have like the strawberry you know skin uh, or strawberry legs which i do have and then i also purchased another one of my fenty skin this is actually a refill of the butter lotion or the butter cream i actually do not know what it's called but yeah basically you buy like the other one like the full size product so that one comes with the packaging and then the actual product once you're done with the actual product you just purchase um the lotion again you don't throw with the packaging so i actually really like that i feel like you don't waste as much product if you guys haven't tried this this is another product that i do recommend and that i think is actually worth the money your skin is just gonna look like life is good you know drinking water you are in an island enjoying life this is definitely what it gives especially now for the winter time the fall slash winter time you definitely want to keep your body super hydrated and this just does something like it just makes you look really like glowy and healthy it makes you look very very healthy i also got a mask let me see if i can find it it's right here so i also picked up a mask i saw a lot of people um, saying this is a really good mask hopefully it's good and does this smell like cookies and cream let me see it's called the fenty skin cookies and clean detox face max i thought it was called the cookies and cream collection but yeah basically this is really good for let's see let me see before i make something up so it basically targets excess oil it does help refine pores I don't know what that really means hopefully it makes them look like smaller and it does have charcoal beads so i guess that's what helps with all that you know those claims um hopefully it works because my skin has been breaking out basically like my whole health has been really bad but yeah hopefully this saves everything <laughs> the packaging actually feels very nice it's really pretty even though i don't really like purple I like lavender like lavender doesn't make me mad purple and red i like them sometimes and then sometimes i'm like they like they did something to me you know um let me see if this smells like cookies and cream okay it doesn't smell like anything well it smells like a, like a mask so yeah this is what the mask looks like by the way i feel like the name is like really really smart and then the last product that i got when it comes to non-makeup products i did pick up a shampoo i wanted to try something different i've been using the l'oreal glossing hair it's like the purple one and i feel like it does make my hair look very shiny so i wanted to try a new shampoo and i picked up this one i think it was kind of like affordable you know i think it was like 23 dollars on sale so yeah this is supposed to give you moisture it helps tame the frizz and then enhances the shine no matter what i always buy shampoos i say that i feel like that's what worked better with my hair like, this is once in a while that i buy like expensive shampoo to be honest i just stick to the drugstore oh my god there's like a mosquito doesn't really 
smell like anything. It smells like flowers. That's what it smells like, like some flowers or something like that. So yeah, hopefully I like this, but I feel like my hair be getting like tired of certain products. So this is why I like to roll to like shampoos and stuff. Now into the makeup stuff, I did pick up the um, Lady Gaga foundation. So I actually have it right here, but I bought the wrong shade. Like when I put this on, it looks a little bit too like like the color just off i don't know i feel like she needed to add like a more olivey yellowy shades a lot of the shades are cool tone so this one's in the shade i believe 300 so i picked up the shade 260 which again it's like a light medium cool so you see what i mean i wish she would release more all of these shades so hopefully this one's good um i i'm pretty sure you guys have seen everybody's been loving this foundation i feel like this is more of like a more natural looking foundation so if you're a glam girl like me i say stick to the soft matte foundation but if you want something more everyday-ish this one you know it's good for that so it is a longer foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin so again when i'm having like those bad skin days i feel Feel like something like this will be something that i like so i cannot open this but it basically looks like this and hopefully the color matches me i will use this in another video so we can see if it looks good so another thing that i got for the skin is this summer fridays sheer skin tin it's actually for my mom she's been wanting this so i just got it for her and this is in the shade Four, and we're basically the same shade so i am gonna use this but i'm not a natural girl you guys know this my mom and sister love like the lightweight skin tint i personally love the full coverage but you know i just feel like this is nothing for me because i have like dark spots on my skin and it just makes me look like tired you know what i mean but it looked really pretty on her skin and she does have more mature skin and looks very healthy and like she's drinking her water that's like the best way i can explain this i'm not gonna swatch the skin tint because i don't want to use it you know since it's for my mom but this is basically the packaging for it and then you just open it like you twist it off and then there is the product right there so it's really perfect honestly for those like everyday wear type of makeup because you could just apply it and blend it in with your fingers so yeah i'm gonna give this to my mom when she comes back from work i feel like anything that says that your skin's gonna look better um you know your best skin that dewy finish has been really in so basically my best advice if you are a little bit more of a glam girl i would recommend if you want to wear a skin tint you go in with the fuller covers like concealer or even powder foundation um but speaking about concealers i did pick up the sephora best skin ever this has been super popular um so i got this in the shade 16y i use it today and it actually reminds me a lot of the one size beauty concealer by patrick star i feel like they're pretty much like the same thing in my opinion and the color is really pretty so this is in the shade like i said is 16y i'm gonna swatch it for you guys that is what it looks like right there um like always you want to make sure you let the concealer sit on the skin and then blend it out and i feel like it's gonna give you the most coverage but yeah girl basically this is supposed to give you a natural full coverage long wear you know application and i feel like it looks really pretty it doesn't or it has increased or anything like that and the color i feel like this is a really good color if you're my foundation twin so yeah i would recommend this concealer and also pick up the powder foundation from sephora you guys have seen me use that powder foundation like a thousand times highly recommend it it's definitely worth the money since you know they're having a 30 percent off definitely pick up products from sephora like the actual collection from them because they have really good products i did pick up a lip gloss as well from them um the one i'm wearing right now is the sephora gloss this collection right here so this is in the shade guess honey it's like a really pretty nude color you guys know me and my nude lip combos so yeah highly recommend that so i wanted to pick up the plumping gloss this time around and i got this in universal volume they also have a really pretty nude shade but i figured this is gonna be perfect for everyday wear you know when you just are not wearing makeup and you just want a little something something i feel like clear gloss always comes through so yeah this is the actual like packaging minty and this is the actual applicator i'm scared let me put this right here i feel like when you tap in your lip gloss it doesn't mix in with your other product 
but right away I can feel that minty feeling, but it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel like the Too Faced. I feel like the Too Faced is a little bit more extreme. This one feels more minty. Since we're in the lip combo category, of course, I picked up other stuff as well. So I got this new product. I have no idea what the actual brand is called, but this is what it looks like right here. So this is what it is, and then that is the actual color. So basically, she released like some new lip products. I have never tried anything from her brand, but if I see a new lipstick, I'm gonna buy it. That's like one thing about me. Anything nude, I'm gonna get it. So this is in the shade Camo, and they're called the I'm Still Here Liquid Lipsticks. Wait, are they liquid lipsticks or a soft, like... Yeah, they're a long wear matte. You know how a lot of people are doing like the velvet ones. But yeah, you see how pretty. I like the packaging. Really pretty shade. Let's see how it looks like in person. It looked really pretty online. The applicator looks really nice as well. My voice like shaking. <laughs> and then, oh wow, it's a really pretty nude color. So nude combo alert. This with like a really nice brown MAC cork. It's gonna look really pretty. And then the last lip thing that I got, it's the Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly. I actually have like a really pretty golden one of this. So I got pistachio. Oh wow, online it looked a lot lighter. I think I'm gonna return this. It looks a little bit too dark. Let me see, let me swatch it. So this is in pistachio, pistachio. It sounds funny when I say it. Oh yeah, girl, I'm gonna return this. This is not my color at all. Look at this. You guys see, it's like a bright coral. In online, it looked like a light pink, but yeah, no, I don't like the color. I feel like it's a little bit too corally for me and I'm not into that. Okay, so the last thing I have for today's video is a bronzer. I feel like it's super hard to find like a good bronzer that looks good and doesn't make you look like muddy, you know, or too orange. I definitely been guilty of that, of using like a bronzer that's a little bit too warm. So I saw this one from One Size Beauty. This is another brand that I really like. Um, Huda Beauty, One Size Beauty. I feel like Dior makeup and also Patrick Top makeup are really good brands, you know, that I feel like their products are actually worth the money. So this is their bronzer shade in the color medium. And I like this because it comes with three different colors and they're all matte. Like, that's what I love. I love this brand. Honestly, I feel like their products are perfect for my makeup style. So this is the bronzers right here. It comes in this beautiful red packaging. I feel like one's a little bit more warm tone. This one's more neutral and this one's a little bit more cool tone it looks like it so you can use it for different things you know your nose contour eyeshadow so this is another product that i like especially if you're into just doing everyday makeup buy a palette like this and you can even use it for underneath your eyes eyeshadow contour the nose contouring you know the chin and all that stuff okay so i reapplied a little bit of my lip combo because i feel like when i talk it does go away so let me share with you guys very quickly my lip combo basically wearing milani saucy toffee lip liner go to and then i'm also wearing the dose of colors velvet mousse you can get this at amazon actually so you can get it like fast you know and this is called an always late and then i did add just a little bit you guys know i love lighter nudes of sephora 32 to liquid lipstick again another one of my favorite products like i said do not sleep on the sephora makeup it's affordable and it's really good but yeah guys that's basically all i have for today's video i really hope you guys enjoy you know hanging out with me talking about makeup things that i got um let me know if you guys have bought anything what's in your list your wish list let me know in the comments below but yeah thank you so much for your time and you know writing to me and asking where i'm at you guys i am so sorry honestly that i was gone for that long i didn't plan it it's just happen but i'm happy to be back you know i'm happy to be with all of you mi familia love you guys so much and also before i leave let me put you guys on to my shimmer that i have since you can get it at sephora you know why not save a little bit money since everything at sephora is expensive you know so for my body oil i'm wearing the abh shimmering body oil and this does have like a little like sprayer so you just add like a little bit you go choo -choo, choo -choo, a little bit and then you blend it out with the brush and it gives you such like a pretty glowy just like bad bitch you know type of look so yeah that is the shimmering oil that i use lately compared to my tom ford one this one's more shimmery the other one's more like oily and by the way everything that i mentioned will be in the description box below in case you guys want to be twinning with me i will have everything linked below for you guys but yeah i'm gonna go have a beautiful blessed day or night and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys <laughs>